Have you visited a local lake and noticed the water looks green with a scum floating on the surface? Or maybe you've seen what looks like a greenish colored film or floating clumps of matter along the surface or the shoreline. If you have, chances are you've seen a harmful algal bloom and probably didn't know it. Hello, I'm Tom Langer with the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. I'd like to take a few minutes to share with you some information about how you, your family and your pets can avoid coming into contact with harmful algal blooms, otherwise known as HABs, in Kansas lakes, rivers, and ponds. Commonly called blue-green algae, cyanobacteria are actually single-cell bacteria that are naturally found in Kansas lakes, ponds, and slow-moving streams. There are many species of blue-green algae that do not produce toxins, but, unfortunately, several species do. HABs can produce neurotoxins that affect the nervous system hepatoxins, which can affect the liver, and dermatoxins, which affect the skin. These toxins can potentially harm the health of people and animals that come into contact with or ingest the water where a HAB is occurring. HABs are not new, but understanding how they affect us is an evolving field of science. Because there are many unknowns, KDHE recommends that Kansas residents take a cautious and preventative approach which avoids contact. In 2011, many Kansas lakes and reservoirs experienced HABs. Harmful algal blooms occurred in 38 public water bodies. The Kansas Department of Health and Environment determined that as many as 13 people experienced ill effects due to exposures to a HAB. KDHE works closely with state partners, including the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks and Tourism, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and many local lake managers and officials to discover and monitor HABs. KDHE recommends a common sense approach. When in doubt, stay out. This simple act will greatly reduce your chance of accidentally swallowing or coming into contact with toxins in the water, breathing in water droplets, or having skin contact with harmful toxins during a bloom. You may be wondering, how do I know if what I see is a HAB? The first warning sign is the appearance of green colored water the presence of floating foam and often a noticeable odor. You may also notice dense clumps of biomass on the water or shoreline or multicolored paint-like scum floating on the water. If you see any of these conditions, KDHE advises you not to swim, wade, water ski or tube in areas where harmful algal blooms are occurring. Recreational activities such as power boating and tubing, wakeboarding, skiing, or jet skiing can splash the surface of the water and create aerosols of toxic water droplets that can be inhaled or ingested. Leisurely and low wake boating should be safe as long as direct water contact is avoided. It is extremely important to not let your pets swim in or drink HAB contaminated water or even walk along shorelines if you see any algae. Pets that have been swimming in a body of water where a HAB is occurring may ingest significant amounts of toxins while in the water and by licking their fur after leaving the water. During 2011, KDHE determined that seven dogs were sickened because of exposure to a HAB and five of these dogs died. If your pet does come into contact with HAB contaminated water, wash them thoroughly with clean fresh water. It is important that if you suspect your pet has been exposed to a HAB and ingested toxins that you take your pet to your veterinarian. When you visit a Kansas lake, please be sure to look for posted advisories or warnings. KDHE may issue two levels of public health protection notices, a public health advisory or a public health warning. An advisory notifies the public that hazardous conditions exist. The water may be unsafe for humans or animals and therefore contact is discouraged. A warning notifies the public that conditions are unsafe and that water contact is prohibited all of the remaining conditions of an advisory would stay in effect. It is important to keep in mind that signs may not be posted if a HAB has not yet been reported or identified by the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. If you visit a reservoir or lake and you see the telltale green waters, surface scum, or something that looks like blue-green algae, avoid the area and report it to the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. Before you head to the lake with your family and pets, take a moment to plan your outing and check the KDHE Blue-Green Algae in Kansas website 
to see if there is a HAB bloom advisory or warning at that lake in your area. The website has been set up as a one-stop shop for information regarding algal blooms in Kansas. You can view a list of current advisories and warnings, report potential algal blooms, and get in-depth information about HABs. Lake-specific information and public health advisories and warnings are kept up to date from April through October each year. Everyone at KDHE hopes that you enjoy the scenic beauty and outdoor activities that Kansas lakes and parks provide. We hope that this information will better prepare you to have a safe and healthy visit to a Kansas lake. For more information about the Kansas Department of Health and Environment Blue-Green Algae and HABs in Kansas, please visit our website. Thank you for visiting with us. For more information on your health and the environment, follow us on Facebook at Kansas Environmental Health.